Hello everyone. So in this video, we're going to be learning about stoichiometry and specifically, we're going to be learning about how to go from grams of one part of an equation. So for example, in this problem, we're starting with grams of C2H4, two grams of another part of the equation. So I want to know if I start with four grams of this, how many grams of water will I produce? So this chart is a map that can help you get from grams of one thing to grams of another thing. So let's just look at this for a second. Um, you'll notice on the left, we have the letter A after our units. So grams of A, moles of A, particles of A. A represents the molecule or compound or element that we're starting with. So in this problem, we're starting with four grams of C2H4, that is A. And then whatever we're trying to get to, so we're trying to get to grams of H2O, that is B. So you'll notice the right half of my chart has moles of B, grams of B, and molecules or atoms of B. So we need to figure out where we're starting in the chart. So it looks like we are starting with grams of C2H4. So we are starting with grams of A, and then we are trying to get to grams of B. So we are trying to get all the way to this oval over here. And we have to follow the path. There's no shortcut to go straight from grams of A to grams of B. We first have to convert A into moles, so we're going to use the molar mass. Then we go from moles of A to moles of B using mole ratios. So this is what we talked about earlier, where we can take the coefficients of an equation and make a conversion factor out of them. So that's how we get from moles of C2H4 to moles of H2O. And then we would need to convert from moles of B to grams of B. So let's see how this plays out in the problem. So we're gonna set this up. We're starting with four grams of H2O. Um, really important that you write both grams and the element or compound or molecule that you are dealing with. So we're starting with grams of H2O and then we know since we need to go from here all the way over to grams of B, we're gonna need three conversion factors. So I'm gonna leave space for one, two, and three conversion factors. All right, so my first conversion factor is going to be the molar mass. Oh, and actually I wrote H2O, this should be C2H4. So my first conversion factor is going to be the molar mass of C2H4. And I just kind of added this up beforehand, so just trust me. Carbon is 12.01, and if there's two of them, that would be 24.02. And then hydrogen is 1.01, .01, and there's four of those. So if we add that all up, we end up with 28.06 grams of C2H4 per one mole of C2H4. Grams cross out. And then we have gone from grams of A to moles of A. So we've got one mole of A over grams of A. We're just following this conversion factor. Um, our next conversion factor is going to be using the coefficients of A and B. So remember A is C2H4, B is H2O. So if we look at the coefficient of C2H4, which is gonna go on the bottom, we see that it's one. So on the bottom, we want one mole of C2H4, that will cross out moles of C2H4. And it turns out for every one mole of C2H4, we would produce two moles of H2O. So we'll put two moles of H2O up top right there. And then uh, we need to get to grams of H2O. So we would go from moles of H2O to grams of H2O. <clears throat> so we would put on the bottom one mole of H2O. And then on the top, oxygen is 16 and hydrogen is 1.01. .01. So we add that up, it would be about 18.02 grams of H2O. And then all that's left is to multiply everything. So if I multiply across the top, I would end up with 144.16 grams of H2O over 28.06. And then I would divide that and I would end up with 5.14. Um, and then since this measurement only had one significant figure, technically I'd probably want to round that to five grams of H2O. 
to keep my significant figures consistent. Okay, uh, let's do a couple more problems. This one says, if I start with three grams of O2, how many moles of CO2 will be produced? And we're using the same chemical equation as before. So in this problem, they're giving me grams of A. In this case, A is O2, and they're asking me for moles of CO2. So CO2 is gonna be B. So in this problem, we're just trying to go from grams of A to moles of B. So we only need two conversion factors on this one. So we'll set it up. We'll start with our three grams of O2, and then I just need two conversion factors, so it's gonna be a bit smaller. Uh, my first conversion factor will be the molar mass, so one mole of O2 over the molar mass of O2. So one mole of O2. Again, oxygen is about 16, so two oxygens would be 32 grams. And then I need to get from moles of O2 to moles of CO2. So we look at the coefficients. The coefficient of O2 is 3. The coefficient of CO2 is 2. So we'll have on the bottom three moles of O2, two moles of CO2, moles of O2 cross out, and then we'll multiply across the top. So we'll end up with six moles of CO2 over 96. And that equals 0 0.0625. And again, if we're gonna round to just one significant figure, it would be 0 0.06 moles of CO2. Okay, last question. This says, how many grams of O2 are needed to react with 2.4 times 10 to the 24th molecules of FES? Um, so, we're starting with molecules. FES is going to be A, and O2 is going to be B. Molecules is a type of particle. So we're starting actually down here at particles of A, and we're trying to get to grams of B. So we need to go up and then over. So we will use three conversion factors. Our first one will be Avogadro's number. So we're gonna go like up, two, three. So this one's gonna be a bit longer again. Uh, let's start with 2.4 times 10 to the 24th. I'm gonna abbreviate molecules as NC, just because I don't have a ton of space here of FES. And then I need three conversion factors. So we'll do one, two, three. Uh, my first conversion factor, according to the chart, I need to do one mole of A over 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. So one mole of FES is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of FES. So molecules will cross out. Now I need to get from FES to O2, so I need to use the coefficients. So we look, we see the coefficient of FES is four. So four moles of FES is equal to, or you need seven moles of O2 to react with four moles of FES. So moles of FES cross out. And then I'm trying to get to grams of O2, so I just need to use the molar mass of O2. So one mole of O2 is 32 grams. And then if I multiply across the top, I'm gonna to get a number in scientific notation. So 5.376 times 10 to the 26th grams of O2 divided by 2.408 times 10 to the 24th. If you do that, you're gonna get about 223.26 uh, if we want to round that to two significant figures, we could just round it to 220 grams of O2. All right, so that is stoichiometry. Again, stoichiometry is the process of converting from grams of one part of a reaction to moles or grams of, or particles of another part of a chemical reaction.